Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. I am Zerul. I'm going to be your conductor for today's train wreck of an episode. Today, we're going to go ahead and do just a, a number of mis miscellaneous things here. Uh, I want to go ahead and increase the um, production of deuterium and tritium there. Uh, and then we're going to start looking at a few other ways to get some electricity, some more power. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there in a moment. So let me go and show you how we're looking over here first. So uh, if you remember the last episode, we had gotten this set up to um, basically had some uh, things down there, some melee turtles. They kill stuff. The XP turtles got the experience, turned it into enchanted items, which are getting enchanted. Um, I did increase it to two levels. I'm thinking about going back and doing that, dropping that down to one. But because at two levels, I don't think I'm getting a huge increase in power from enchanting, and it's taking a lot longer to get the levels there. I did end up throwing a second uh, spawner over there. Uh, it was suggested that I use some that I can use some bundled cabling to go ahead and block that, but at the moment I'm just going to leave it running full time. Uh, so I've got uh, angry zombies and creepers that are both getting killed down there for this purpose. These are running pretty steadily at this point. Uh, it's There's not too much of a gap between getting uh, this getting an enchanted and the next one going into the machine. So I think we got a pretty good clip right now. It's not outputting a tremendous amount of energy, but it is steady, and it's a, it's a cool upgrade. So we're going to work on a few things a little bit later. Um, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and work on this. I want to get uh, another, say, 20 of these going because um, it takes a lot less time over here uh, with these things to make uh, hi hydrogen cells than it does over here to actually use them. So all of these have a full stack, and to give you an idea, I've got 3,000 hydrogen cells to go. So let me see if I can put some more of these. There we go. So what? No, I didn't want to craft any of that. Fine, craft whatever you want. I don't care. So let's go and start off with this. We're going to put in some bat boxes, and we're going to do this in the same way we did the, the other one over here. And we're going to do it like this, I think. Uh, no, we're going to have to change these in a second. We're going to put the bat boxes below to try and save space, is what we're going to do. Let's go and pull out the wrench. Where are you at? Omni wrench. So y'all may, may have noticed that I haven't really done too much uploading here. Um, well, at least I didn't. I, didn't, I haven't done a lot of recording over the past week or so. So my schedule at work has changed, so I'm back. Uh, it's kind of shifted a little bit there. Still on a pretty horrible schedule, but uh, it has thrown off um, what I've been trying to do recording-wise there. So hopefully I can get myself back in the groove and get these recordings going. I think that should be good there for that. Um, all right, let's set the import bus here. Um, I haven't made any more recordings of the Aether. I mean, I've, uh, to be completely honest, I've kind of uh, kind of got bored with it. I, um. I may go back and uh, when when we get some more updates on that, I may go back in the future and no, that's not what I wanted to do. Do some more Aether recordings, but for time being, I'm going to haul off on that there. I mean, uh, for a hobby like this, you know, why record stuff that's not fun to record? Is the way I feel. Um, all right, let's get that moved here. All right, let's go down and get this powered real quick before we start injecting. Whoa. Um, what I am going to do, if, if you um, immediately after I finish recording this, I am going to go through and I, I've decided I want to start doing a um, a traditional vanilla Minecraft uh, Let's Play. Uh, I've got a few ideas there, and I really uh, I've gotten inspired with some of the things that I've been seeing recently. So I think I'll be trying to that as well, to seeing if we can get that. That would be more of a, this is more of a uh, exploring the mod type of thing with Feed the Beast. Vanilla is all about building cool stuff. All right, we're starting to get power. Right, so it's charging the things above. That's good. That's what we need to see. 
and getting power. You know what? Let's make some. Tra let's make. A I'm not going to worry about trapdoors for the moment there. Uh, we'll, we'll just go down below if we need to check the power here. All right, let's set these up. So these are going to be hydrogen cells fueling these like that. So, yeah, if, uh, if, if you like Feed the Beast, uh, check out the, the next series I'm going to try. Um, one thing that I've known, I've, I've been trying a few other games recently. I'm trying to see if there's been another game that would be interesting to do a Let's Play on. And I have to admit that there are some games that just I don't think would make a really good Let's Play. Um, either because, one, I completely suck at them, um, or the gameplay doesn't work well. There's not a very good pacing um, you know, it stretches out too long, that kind of thing, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how that all pans out. Um, in the next few days, it looks like we've got, come on, yep, there we go, we're starting to chew out here, there we go, excellent, let's go see how we are looking below here, nope, that's not where we wanted to go. Let's check the power, and we're going low on power. Wunderbar. All right, so let's go ahead and... All right, so that's about 300 power that we added. I did turn off some of these. Let's go ahead and turn another one off. So that is working well. Let's see if we're getting the... Yeah, it seems to be going through. It seems like it's getting enough power for the time being. Okay. Um, and let's do... Can we do another one of these right back to back? We might be able to. Whoa. What on? Oh. Ah! Okay. Very strange. What was I saying before I so rudely interrupted myself? Oh. Um, there is a Shadowrun game that is, that is going to be coming out here within the next few days. I am a really, really big fan of Shadowrun. Uh, I've run a few campaigns, and it's one of my favorite game systems there, Shadowrun Returns. Uh, I have purchased the game, the digital version of it there, so I may uh, try a, uh, a Let's Play of that. We'll see if that is uh, good. With role-playing, I think that would probably work well for a Let's Play. Oh, God, those, those, those things over there, they're... They're falling on the edge. I thought I'd fix that. Um, uh, wow. All right. After that, I've got this set up, we're going to go over there and fix that because that's annoying. Um, all right. That's not... There we go. That's the one we're trying to look at. All right. One, one. Come on. Give us some power. Now, I know this is not the most efficient setup for cabling, but it's the simplest for me. All right. Let's go and jump over here now. And let's grab some more centrifuges. Like so. Come on. And... There. All right. Now we need the import buses again. I think this is probably about as compact as I'm going to be able to get it. But this is 30 of these here. And let's see here. Yeah, we'll just continue the trend connecting right there. One there. So, hopefully the hopefully uh, Shadowrun Returns is a good game. It looks good from what I've seen. It looks very close to the tabletop, which is extremely important there. Uh, and maybe I'll even see if I can... Uh, it's coming with a level editor there, or a campaign editor, so maybe I'll make some campaigns for that. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, that's not what we're looking for. Yeah, that's where we're going. Alright. So this is 30 of these total. There we go. 
And I'm almost certain we don't have the power for this. No, nope, we don't. So... Let's go down another level here. And... Are we still cooking? Let's cut that. Alright, that's good there. Let us... Alright, so that is not outputting at the moment there. Well, actually, it is outputting. Let's let's stop outputting here. And let's we'll let it max out there. Um, Alright. So the power should be going down here. It should be traveling up through here. And... I think I may need to split it again just to get some more juice running. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go make ourselves another low voltage transformer, LV transformer. Ah, I already got one. Cool. Whoa, what was that? Why on earth? Okay, uh, deuterium. Go in there. Thank you. That was odd. Uh, Alright, so we need... You got some glass fiber cable. Yeah, let's do this. Um, Alright. Should we just go down that way? Yeah, let's just split it off from this again. Oh, actually, we can tie that into that. I'm certain we still don't have enough power. I mean... Yeah, I'm certain we probably still don't have enough power. Oh, is the light coming down? Let's go sleep. Get our solar panels running again. Sleep time. Alright, and since we're here... Let's get another solar array cooking. See how much of that we can get going. Alright, let's go back to the top. And we still have insufficient energy. Perfect. All right, that's got sufficient. We're good there. This one is causing the problem. Use that as the marker. Yeah, that one does have sufficient power. All right, so we got to bring it... I think it would just be easier to feed it from both sides because I think that we're losing too much too much power along this way here. Um, actually, do I have... I got rid of my painters. Yes, uh, I ran out of space, so I threw my painters away. Um, wire, wire everywhere. Let's see. Alright, let's do this. Right, let's go ahead and put this back here. Place, go. Place. One, two, three, four, five, six. S oh, nope. Had exactly enough. Nope. There. There we go. All right, so that's getting more power now, I think. All right, and... So here's this, the, yes, the one side is where stuff is going to go. So let's do this. And flip it around. Like so. And then I think I just grab some more cables. So all kinds of cables all over the place. Yahoo. Ooh, uh, don't have any. Electrum ingots. And diamond, is it like this? I think this is the way it works. 
Glass. Yeah, give us some glass. Not refined glass, just regular glass. I didn't know. Glass fiber cable. I should know this by now. Oh, uh, almost. Just not quite right. Glass like that. There we go. So the power would go like. I know this is making a mess of everything, but hopefully this helps. Come on, Wrath Lamp. There we go. All right, so let's go back up top. Yay! All right, good. So that is getting power. That is getting power. Perfect. So we've got 30 of these now going, all outputting this. It's feeding into here, into these centrifuges. Because uh, four of these um, have to have to output over here. Um, if I can, uh, basically need like a 4 to 1 ratio to have all of these running, or more than that there. So that should be good enough for, good enough for now. We seem to be good on power. All right, so we got to do a few more things with power. We really need some electricity. And I have plenty of water mills. So I think what we're going to do next is we're going to go set ourselves up a kind of water trough outside. I don't know if I want to do what I did before because that used up, uh, caused a lot of lag. I think we may just submerge these and let these run. So, well, that looks interesting. Tinker table. Interesting. Anyhow, um, all right, so I will, um, uh, this is going for a quick commercial break, and I'll be back in just a few seconds, and we'll get started on our water mill outside. All right, everyone, and we are back. Um, now, I made the decision that I, I need the extra power, so we're going to go ahead and go with the same sort of solution we had at old base. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and set this up for a automatic water uh, production system here. So this is going to be, let's see here, blue is input, so export there. That'll pull out, good. And then let's have it do that. Excellent, that's what we want. So this is just going to use up all of our buckets. Like so, and let's just drop a whole stack of buckets in there. There we go. All right, so that should keep our, our water production going. Next, let's go ahead and find a suitable place for this. Uh, suitable meaning right next to the base, since we don't want to be running the cabling too far. We could also do this underneath. That's also a possibility. Hmm... Let's see here. What should we do over here? You know, underneath would actually probably... Whoa! I forgot about these boys. Come on, fall in. Fall in. That's right. I'll fall in. Re really need some soundproofing, I think. Let's see how these guys are doing. Whoa! Stop that. Alrighty then. Yeah, let's uh Yeah, let's definitely do this underneath. Because I think it should have plenty of space underneath. Yeah, I think that is a good idea here. Let's go ahead and run over here. Whoop. Fall, come on, drop down. There we go. And we got all this cabling down here anyway, so it should be a lot easier to, to get all this in here. So, all right, so I'm going to work on clearing this out a bit. I'll uh, be back and just a uh, quick press the edit button. All right, here we are back. And um, so this is what, what we're going to go and do. Is I'm going to try this as a little experiment. We're going to try and lay these out in a kind of snake pattern here. 
Um, and the way I've got this set up is I've got 30... Um, let me back up slightly here. This cabling loses one EU every 40 length. So what we're doing here is I've got this set with these um, um, transformers, which should hopefully keep it the power running, and we're going to exit down here and tie into this. I'm going to go and turn the sound down to zero, because that is getting irritating. So, if you like listening to zombies, I'm sorry. My apologies. All right, so what we're doing here is we're just going through in a snake pattern and placing these down. Now, the reason why we are doing it this way uh, is because uh, I want to keep the interconnections between cables as minimal as possible to try and reduce lag. And I want to keep everything in one long connection. Um, I believe this should still output, but I'm not certain. We can test that here in a few minutes. It's not a whole horrible big deal to me if it's not. Let me through. Let me through. Um, but, uh, yeah, since uh, we're, we're going to use routers, routers treat anything with an inventory as being part of the network, so keeping them all in line, they should all interconnect with one another for the router. All right, there we go. It's good so far. Whoa, that's not what we wanted to do. Right. And come on. More, more water mills. That's not what we wanted to do either. Mm. All right, let's undo these. Come on. There we go. So we'll test this out. If this works, I will probably just go through and do the rest of this off camera at some point here. All right. You know what? You want to stay there? That's fine. We'll just take you out here in a minute. Whoa, we want to avoid that. Um, let's see here. All right, let's move this over a couple. Why is that going that way? I don't know. Oh, that's probably the reason. All right, so we tie it that way and that way. And then that frees up that and that and that and that. Good. And this complete lack of silence is uh, getting on me here. I'm starting to talk to myself. All right. All right, we're getting there. All right, and let's do that. All right, so that's most of them. Good, good. All right, now we're going to, I want to fill this in with dirt to make it easier to stand on like that dirt all right ah we missed one we missed one Come on, fill in. That's a good dirt block. That's a good dirt block. Let me out now. Let me out. It's a bad dirt block. All right, let's do that. All right, there we go. And we can put this the way. That's good. 
And let's get this last bit of dirt placed here. Torch to light it up, just in case. Not that it should matter. Perfect. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. All right. So these are all linked up. Now we're going to go ahead and put a couple of routers down. All right, let's put router number one here. We're going to insert into the top sides. Oh, I need to go up top here and get a couple of buckets. One, two. All right, let's get some sound back. Back up to 18. That's good. There we go. Oh, that's much better. You don't realize how much you miss it until it's gone. All right. So insert into the top sides. Oh, right. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind. Uh, top sides. Top sides. And then let's see here. We want to do this. Nope, not that. That's not that either. Come on. Hmm. This thing is far too powerful for its own good. Let's try this again and see if we can actually do this correctly this time. Export bus is going to be th there. All right, good. Now we need another one of these here, and I'm going to make strap from the bottom, because this should not top and bottom is where this should work, like so. And... Let us empty this real quick. And let's empty a bucket out. Water. Actually, no, we just, we don't actually need to tell this. We just want to tell it to extract all the time. All right, let's see. Let's hope this works. And... Let us tie in to the ME network. All right, break that, break that, break that. Come on. All right. So we're inputting into the top. Ah, uh, no, no. We need to uh, export from the top here, I believe. All right, let me figure this out. All right, so we have this all exporting there. Water bucket. Why would water produce... Interesting. And a biogas. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. So this is... Exporting... From the bottom... All right, let's try this. No, it does need to go and it does need to export from the top. And this needs to export into the bottom. Ah, that's what it was. All right, I need to go get a few things here. I'll be back in a second. All right. Ah, you know what? I just left the cable back here. Okay, so 
Uh, I just forgot I had to that you output it in and put it into the same slot. Own a water mill. So let's go ahead real quick. Grab ourselves some of this cabling. So it with the item filter, I've just got it set to output buckets of water into the bottom, export empty buckets from the bottom, and at the moment, everything is now filled up with a spare bucket of water. So let's tie this into the network, and let's see how this works. Let's see if we get anything. And... 114... Here it went one out. All right, so these are outputting now. We have extra power. Yes, it is draining the water. Each one of these is outputting one. This may not be enough routers to keep it going, but you know what? We already had all the all the supplies, so let's might as well use them. So, uh, got a little bit more power. We've got more uh, production of our uh, tritium and uh, deuterium going on right now. Let's go ahead and check and see how the power levels are looking for those over here. How are we doing over here? Ah, good. We're maxed out on power. Perfect. Excellent. So those are running non-stop now. Whoa, let me up. Let me up. There we go. These guys are in pretty good shape. Yep. Our router is kept is keeping all of these things over here fed. Um, I had to put a battery in this slot here because otherwise it was throwing cells in here but it seems like we are now getting these at a pretty good pace now which is a good sign perfect so let's go and check our tritium deuterium levels i think this should be it for an episode here now all of this with everything we've done um ooh, looking looking pretty good 350 so 700 buckets of deuterium 800 buckets of tritium. We are in good shape, so we should be just about ready to start experimenting with fusion. I've got to get the mod pack changed over to include the version of Greg Tech that has the new fusion reactors there, So, because I do want to mess around with those new ones there. Um, and we need to set up a way to store up a lot of power, because it requires... I think a couple of million EU overall to to keep it fed. So I think we'll just need a bunch of MFSUs. This is going to be where we're going to place it. This is a bunch of lead here, lead blocks. I was going to line the bottom with lead here, so you know we're working with nuclear power. Um, I also think I need to make myself an escape hatch just in case something happens and our reactor happens to explode on us. So a good... Uh, good escape mechanism we'll we'll play around with that here at some point um other than that i have had a good time making this episode i hope you all have enjoyed it uh if you have enjoyed it a like or a favorite is always appreciative uh place any comments in the comments section i'll be glad to answer what i can and i hope to see you next time so have a great day everyone and good night <laughs>